Let's start today by off by showing some of the changes I've made to the script on the moth drone. And I think we're gonna replace the moth drone pretty soon. We've barely used this, but it just doesn't have the staying power. We're gonna update it with hydrogen thrust. Um, these atmospheric thrusters are just too weak. We've got too many of them and it just doesn't, it still doesn't foot the bill. So we need something stronger. Anyway, I have the moth drone running off of Sam right now. And I keep going back and forth between Sam and Pam for the automated drone scripts. I think uh, for my playing with it, it looks like Sam is better for point to point, just the way it handles waypoints. But I think Pam will be better for the actual mining drones. So we'll probably use Pam for that. Um, but anyway, I have this set to automatically go from here uh, to the magnesium base and return and then come back. And it should have plenty of clearance to do those things without any issues. As it stands right now, I don't have it doing any actions once it gets either to or fro. Um, I just have it parking and then I'll turn off the script myself. Or at least I'll try to. Yeah, I just have it parking. And then I've got to manually turn off the script in between. Otherwise, it'll just fly back and forth all day. Which is cool. Which is fine if that's what we want. Here's what I'm thinking, right? For today's project, let's, let's redesign the moth. Uh, I want to get that cobalt mine up and running. For that, we need a drone that can mine stuff. And I think to get a usable drone, to get a decent drone, we need a source of uh, hydrogen over there. And there really isn't one. Uh, and we've got hydrogen here. We've got tons of ice. If we look uh, ice, right, we got tons of ice. Uh, we actually have less ice than I thought, but it's still plenty. <laughs> we got tons of ice and I need a way to move that ice and or hydrogen from here to there, from hither to thither. Is that a thing? I think that's a thing. And uh, so let's take, instead of instead of completely redoing this to be a um, hydrogen thrust, let's just remove the cargo containers and instead we'll put in uh, hydrogen tanks. We'll put in hydrogen tanks and we'll make this our tanker because I think the atmospheric thrusters will be able to move hydrogen Without a problem, that should be fine. And then we can later uh, print another one of these or something and redesign it to use hydrogen thrust when we need to carry cargo. Right now, we're not really moving a lot of cargo, so I think that'll work out.
Okay, if you look at the display right here, we are stockpiling hydrogen now. It's stockpiling pretty quickly as well. Uh, let's make sure both tanks are full. So if we do tank, here's moth tank. We can select them here. This one currently has filled 100%. This one has filled 100%. All right, so both tanks are linked up. Let's see if she flies. Yeah, easy. She flies great. No problem. I bet we could get rid of some of the thrusters as well. Although I don't think we're going to do that. We'll just leave it as it is. And now we have a tanker. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so easy. All right, I've got to set up the the SAM script again. Uh, but I think that would be pretty easy. And now we have a way to transfer hydrogen from one base to another. I am curious, though, uh, how much of our base's hydrogen did that actually take? So if we look back in the control panel and we look at the magnesium mine tank, 36%. So that took two-thirds of our hydrogen. Hold on. Let's stockpile this again so it's full. And... Yeah, we're at 36%. Now, it's gaining hydrogen because I think those those each 2 generators are on. Uh, so, it's burning through our ice pretty quickly. I mean, that's a lot. I think we're going to need a place for... Uh, we're going to need a place to gather ice here pretty soon. Um, but I think before we do that, we need some mining going on. So, maybe next, let's build a hydrogen... A thrust variant of the moth. I think that would be the next best thing for us to do. So that once we get the cobalt mine up and running, we can actually move the cobalt uh, effectively. If we're going to be modifying a copy of the moth, it would be the best start to have a copy of the moth to modify. And instead of building another one from scratch, we have a blueprint. I think the easiest thing would be to build a ship printer like a temporary thing. Uh, once we get our main base set up, we'll build one there. But I think just for this specific project, it'd be very convenient to have one. Fortunately, I have an access point to cargo right here, so we can build it off of this. Let's uh, let's do that. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's do that.
Whoever said you had to be able to count to be an engineer was completely wrong. Uh, all you've got to be able to do is willing to redo your work three times. Uh, <laughs> that's all it takes. Okay, so I have this set up. I think we're ready to try... I think we're ready to print this. Let me adjust the piston speed so that it's super slow. Um, I think, let's see, we want the wall piston, and I don't know how fast this needs to be, but I think this is too, uh, too fast. So let's put it for 0 .03 for now. If you guys know what speed that should be, let me know in the comments, because I, uh, I don't know. So let's extend the piston. We'll just reverse it. We'll stick it all the way out. And I didn't test this part. Hopefully it will reach so that we can get all of the blocks. Uh, we are going to be able to, we are going to have to miss the ladder, but I can hand do the ladder. That's not a problem. Just because of the way that uh, we need an attachment point and ladders don't have one. Hopefully this reaches. Hopefully this makes it all the way. And if it does, we can hit print. I think we're going to miss a couple of pieces of this leg section as well. Uh, I think that'll work. Okay, I I think that's gonna work. Let's turn on the welders and see what happens. Yeah, cool. Okay, that's as far as it'll reach. It's welded as much as it can. So we could do, let's just reverse the piston. Okay, this could be a problem, actually. It's going too fast still. What I need is not this. Don't break stuff. What I need is not reverse. What I need is toggle. So let's set up this fourth button to toggle the piston. Uh, button four. Set up actions. We want piston... We want the wall piston, this one here, and we'll turn it on and off. Okay, I think that'll do. So now reverse it and just turn it off. Let it print what it's gonna print. Turn it back on until it starts printing stuff. Turn it off again until it finishes. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Uh, we are having a little bit of an issue. It looks like we printed too much to get that thruster and that thruster, but it's a learning experience, right? We're, we're still learning. And I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit, I think. Let's push it back in. And we get some of these blocks. What are we missing for this? Metal grids? Uh, maybe we just don't have the grids. Mm. Ow. Okay, let's let's try and make some grids. Let's make sure we're producing grids, in fact. Reduction, metal grids. Let's make, like, a hundred of them. Hopefully I have the cobalt to make a hundred metal grids. I hear welding happening. Did we catch? Okay, good. So we caught all the things we were missing. So it wasn't actually a range issue. It was a, a materials issue. Let's make maybe a couple of extra metal grids then. Let's make 100 because I don't have those in my auto queue. Uh, let's make an extra 100. We'll just make a ton of them. That way we've got some on hand. All right. Awesome. Let's reverse the pistons again. And what are we waiting for? Oh, okay. So we, before we can weld up this thruster, we've got to get this cargo container. I don't know if it's going to reach. Let's find out. All right. As soon as we hear welding, we'll stop it. Yeah, cool. It's going to reach. Oh, this is great. We're going to be able to do the whole thing. Okay, what are we missing now? Motors? It probably just isn't keeping up with production for motors. Yeah, I think as it's making them, it's putting them in. All right, this is great. Uh, this is great. I'll just keep printing, and we'll go as we go.
Okay. Uh, I think we killed it. Uh, man, <laughs> every time I try and do something cool. I think we killed the thing, though. I think we killed the attacker. Uh, ooh, let's hurry back over there. Hopefully I can get to my corpse. We're almost done printing the ship, too. It may actually be finished. Um, albeit some parts maybe aren't, aren't working, but most of it should be done. Yeah, this is why we need to get working on that other base. So that we can defend ourselves from these kinds of things. Oh yeah, we killed it. Alright, we killed the attacker. So that's good. Uh, I think this is actually pretty much ready. I mean, most of it's done. The cockpit's intact. Is it finished? Yeah, the cockpit's finished. Can we fly? Oh, Ow. Okay, let's turn the welders off. Oh, I, I can't turn the welders off. Okay, from here I can't anyway. Uh, I can from here. Wall welders off. Okay, uh, let's see. Why can we not fly? Oh, first of all, where's my body? Uh, I don't have a body here. Wait. Body location way over here. There we go. Okay, now, what are we missing? Let's turn all these on. I turned them off while they were printing. Okay. So there's half of them. I just need to be able to get up on top of the platform and then we can assess damage. Come on. 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 This new build vision is throwing me off a little bit. On. Okay. Hey, alright. We can move. We have controls. I, something fell off. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I'm glad that got printed before everything uh, went to shit. So I think next let's park it, at least land it here, up here. We'll do this. We'll turn the thrusters off. And now we'll let's assess damage. Okay. How bad is it? Uh, one thruster. That's not too bad. The ladder, of course. You know, the projector still has the image. We could easily repair or um, re-weld anything that's that's damaged. That's convenient. I think the only thing that really got hit was that welding wall, and we just... Oh, the dragonfly. Dragonfly lost its wings. Okay, it was out of juice anyway. But and now that we have this printer, we can... Uh-oh. Uh, now that we have this printer, we can print a new dragonfly. I'll just have to repair it a little bit. That's not too bad. How about this moth? Is it damaged? Uh, this one seems mostly fine. There's a little damage, a little couple of minor things, but it looks mostly okay. It didn't explode, <laughs> so that means the hydrogen tanks are fine. All in all, I, I'd say that was actually pretty good. Uh, that, that worked out pretty well. Is this... Yeah, I mean, we didn't really lose any blocks except for these right here. And the dragonfly. So, cool. Alright. Well, I think the next thing to do then... I'm gonna repair this damage. And tear this guy down. And, uh, and I think in the morning... Once, once the day comes out again... We will, uh, work on re refitting the moth that we just printed. Nice. Alright. Well, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm okay with this outcome. I think this worked out okay. That wasn't too bad. I got everything all cleaned up and nice, uh, rearranged a couple of things, tidied it up some, and I think we're in a better position now, uh, given, you know, given that we were just attacked. Um, we're definitely better off than that. 
Um, I have added a couple of things to the welding wall, uh, just making it look nicer. I've got these kind of safety barriers, kind of indicate to uh, anyone involved where the welders reach out to as well. I've got a spinning light to indicate when the system is on. And uh, there's a sensor as well, so if we get close enough, it turns the welders off. And then as we back away, um, it turns them back on. So it won't accidentally catch me on fire and uh, and hurt me thusly. All right, we can hit one button and turn everything off. That turns off the whole wall. So I would like to work on the moth now. I think the I think it's a good ship, honestly. I think it's a great ship, but it has some trouble lifting the amount of cargo that we've given it. Um, you guys told me in the comments that that uh, hydrogen thrust is just better than, than atmospheric thrust. And so I think our best bet then is going to be replace these lifting uh, thrusters with hydrogen thrusters. Uh, for sure. That's that's an obvious... Well, there's no space for more junk. You know, that's going to be an obvious way to uh, to make things better. I'm thinking we leave this thruster uh, right here, just mostly because I don't want to have to replace uh, a bunch of stuff. And there's some things that are just tied to that thruster already. So, like, these lights and these thrusters... You know, if I remove this one, I gotta redo all that stuff. And I think we'll just leave the one. I don't think that's gonna be too bad. Um, let's see. If we look at tanks and thrusters, we want the hydrogen thrusters. I don't want the huge one. There we go. I want the small one. I don't think I want the armored one. I just want the regular one. And it's just a uh, one square. Okay, so that'll be pretty easy. As far as tanks, uh, I think a big tank is too much. Um, we could remove some of the batteries, actually, and put in a tank on the back. But uh, I think we're fine. Um, this way, we have some extra power. If we ever run out at one of our bases or something, we can use the moth to jumpstart it. But we could use these smaller tanks. We're only going to use a handful of little thrusters anyway. And I was thinking maybe we put them like... Why do we put them like this? We can stack a couple of them. And then flip these over and do like that. And then we can just put our thrusters like here, I think, and here is where the attachment points are. That gives us two on each side. And if we needed to, we could do another layer of tanks. So let's weld this up and see how it performs. Eight tanks, four thrusters, all welded up, uh, and stockpiled. They got fuel in them. I don't think this is going to do it. I don't think this is enough. Uh, but let's give it a shot. Let's turn on all the thrusters. Set the batteries to auto. Unlock. I mean, it lifted. But that was never a question. Actually, it feels really strong. Should we fill it up with ingots? Let's fill it up with ingots. Okay, so it's not a real test unless the inventory is full, right? Otherwise, we're just lifting the ship. And that's not the point. So I think I set this up before. Let's see if this still works. The moth sensor, if we turn this on, and we should be able to undock and dock again. And can we see? Okay, we're gonna have to turn off these thrusters. Can we see if the thing is going? Where is the thing? Here it is. It is going. How is our inventory? Moth. Okay, the connector is full. The large cargo containers are... One is full, one is filling. It's nearly full. All right, that's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, we can see. I forgot I set this up too, so we can see it there. Uh, how long is this gonna take? That's still on. 
And that thing is still on. What is the... I wonder... It's probably the cockpit. That it doesn't recognize as full. Yeah, we could definitely turn down the timer on that. Okay, let's turn that sensor off. Because we don't need it to continually run. Alright, let's... Now we check. Let's unlock. Let's turn the thrusters on. Yeah, we can't lift. So we'll lock again. And let's double this and see if that's enough. Alright, so now we've got eight thrusters and 16 tanks. Let's see if eight thrusters is enough. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to just uh, disconnect, I think. And no, still not enough. Oh, it's enough to break the break the catwalk. Okay, I kind of knew that was coming. Um. Okay, so I think next we try a different orientation so we can squeeze in more thrusters. Uh, I'd like to get. I guess we need more thrusters. I mean, that's really the only thing for it. I think that's enough tanks. All right. <laughs> this is starting to get silly. Uh, 12 hydrogen tanks on each side for a total of 24. Six thrusters on each side for a total of 12. Let's see if this will lift. Will it lift? Unlock. And, okay, thrusters on. It doesn't even move. Because the tanks are still in th stockpile. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Moth tanks. Stockpile on off. Here we go. Okay. Stockpile off. Thrusters on. Nothing happens. Lock unlocked. Nothing happens. Uh, hmm. Okay. More... Th more thrusters? Question mark? Is that really the answer? I mean, that's a lot, guys. That's a lot, it feels like. Uh, okay, I guess I gotta figure out somewhere else to put more thrusters. I'm running out of space pretty quickly here. Okay, uh, this looks dumb as heck, but, uh, this should work. I got two of these big ones on each side. Uh, what? I'm <laughs> it's starting to get silly. All right, let's try it though. Uh, thrusters on, stockpile off, switch lock, and oh, batteries on. Thrusters are going. We still can't lift. Are we like locked or something? We still can't lift even with all of this. Wow. Wow. Uh, ooh, okay. So even with all that, we still can't lift, huh? Alright, I got one more thing to try, and, uh, and then I... Gonna have to give up after that. We'll just have to... I don't know. Alright. Here we go. 12 tanks on a side, 24 tanks, 4 large thrusters on a side, 8 large thrusters. Uh, shooting and stuff. Will this do it? If this doesn't do it... I don't know. I really don't. I don't know what else to try. I mean, I'm not putting more thrusters than this. I'm gonna take off some batteries, maybe. Let's see if this works. Uh, what do we need to do? Thrusters on, unlock. Batteries on. Uh, we have no thrust. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. We need to do large. Nope. Hydrogen. 
thrusters on. Okay. We can lift. It's everything we possibly have. It takes everything we got, but we can do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. I don't. Okay, we're drifting. Oh, because I have no sideways thrust. I forgot to put that back on. All right, we'll just have to tilt steer. Oh, too far, too far, too far. Like a helicopter. Go back this way. Go back the other way, overcorrect. Rock back and forth. Okay, good. Too far. Anyway, I'm going to land this guy. I'm going to try and land it on the dock, even. There we go. Oh, too far, too far. Yep, yep, here we go. Here we go. There we go. B for park. All right. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, I guess that's successful. Yeah, sure. No, that's successful. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, now what? Uh, sideways thrust. I need to put little thrusters on top. I'll do hydrogen for those. I think that'll... We can just do a couple of them. That'd be pretty easy. All right. We made a change, so let's do another test. Let's see if we can actually... If we can actually fly now. Can we strafe at all? I mean, we're so heavy. It does, though. It does. Sort of. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should put some more. Yeah, I mean, we're so heavy. This is... We can move forward. We can stop. So, I mean, we can do all of the important things. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool, right? Like, it's kind of cool. I'm glad that it flies. That's pretty sweet. Oh, geez, we're almost out of hydrogen. All right, we need to land. Wow, that went fast. Okay, so that's like one trip's worth of hydrogen. Wow, that goes so fast. Even with 24 tanks. Uh, hello, can you lock? There we go. Let's let's pee for park. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure, guys. Let me know what you think about this with the hydrogen thrust. I mean, it, it was a good idea. Maybe we stockpile. Let's Let me know what you think. I'll leave it for now. And uh, we'll check again on it next episode, depending on your feedback. I'm not sure how I feel. I'm not even going to do a detail pass like I usually do between episodes. That's that's how little I'm sure about this. So, but until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay dangerous. And I'll see you next week. Bye.